Hey there. So one of the most basic things you can do in programming is to process a CSV file. And CSV just stands for comma separated values. And in a CSV file, it's just going to be a file that has data. And each of the parts of the data are separated by commas. Once you learn this basic skill, you can take data from the internet or data from some other program, bring it into your own program or application, and then process that data however you want. And this is what I teach you how to do in my programming guide. In that guide, I teach you to take your credit card transactions from your credit card company. And you can download that in a CSV file, and then you can parse that data, bring it into your program, and then you can create your own budget application out of it. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to open the CSV file, read it in, parse it, and then close the file. And this is a really fundamental skill in programming. This is one of the first things I learned when I was learning how to code. And once you learn how to do this, you'll start having new ideas of how you can apply this and create your own applications. So let's get started. My name is Henrik and I'm here to teach you how to become a better developer. And I would like to give you a free gift. It's called my personalized finance app programming guide. And like I mentioned earlier, it's a free guide where you take your credit card transactions and then you can categorize them into different budget categories so you know how much you're spending. It's a free guide. It's a 12 step guide and it'll teach you how I would go about approaching this problem. And if you download it and pay attention to what it says, you'll definitely learn some fundamental programming concepts. Okay, so here's an example of a CSV file that I got from Florida State University. There are 18 people here and each, each person has five fields, five attributes, the name, sex, age, height, and weight. And we're doing this in Visual Studio Code. This IDE is Visual Studio Code. And if you don't know how to set that up, you can watch my one of my videos on how to set it up. And so we're going to we're going to code in C. So first we do what we do is we create a new file. I'm just going to name it csv.c and I'm going to put in some basic information here. All right, so we're just going to start from a basic hello world program. So we run this and there you go. Hello world. All right, to open our file, we're going to need to create a file variable. And we'll just call this our biostats file. And then we're going to use a function called file fopen. And then here we put in our biostats.csv. And then we're going to specify R because we're going to read it. And then we're going to check if you opened the file correctly by using an if statement. So fopen, when it's if it's not able to open this file, for example, say it doesn't exist this this file variable is going to be null so we can check if it's null and then if it's null we're going to say error could not open file then we're going to want to exit and in order to use the exit function we need to include another library and then let's put a let's put a printf statement here saying i was able to open the file I'm just going to put these two bars so that it's easier to see in our output. Okay, so there you go. I was able to open the file, but say the file name was something different. Say it was biostatistics. Instead, if we were to run this, it was says, it, now it says error could not open file. And then if we just specify biostatistics, statistics here and there you go I was able to open the file all right now we need to read in the data and in order to read in the data we need a buffer to read the data into so let's create a variable char buffer array and it's just gonna be a thousand characters long and then we're going to read in the file here so let's create a comment here and read in the first line and in order to read in the first line, we're going to use the function fgets. So we use our buffer as our input. And then we specify the size of the buffer. And then we add in the file that we're going to get the data from, which is the biostats file. And then let's print that line. Okay, so now we're able to read in the first line of the file. 
All right, so now we're gonna parse this line and this line is separated by commas and we can use them as delimiters and we can specify them as delimiters for our program. And the delimiter is just a character that marks the beginning or end of a unit of data. So if we use the function str talk, we can specify our buffer and then we can use comma as our we can specify comma as our delimiter and this one will give us the first unit of data which is going to be this one and then this function is going to return the first token we need to store it into a variable and we're going to use a pointer And the reason why we're using a pointer is because str talk will re will return a pointer. It just points to the first token of this of this string. And if you don't know what a pointer is, you can, you can find a lot of resources online on what it is. And now let's print data. The first token is percent s. And in order to use str talk, we need to include the string library. So let's include that library here. Okay. All right, so there it is. The first token is name. Okay, so now how do we get the second token? All you have to do is call str talk again. But instead of using buffer, we're going to use null, which just tells the function to continue parsing the line that we specified in the first call. So let's run this. Okay. So it's basically it's finding this. And then if you want to continue going, we want to find the third and fourth ones. Third. Fourth. And fifth. So you run this. There you go. Now we get the first token, second token, third token, fourth token, fifth token. Now this piece is kind of awkward. I think that's just because of the CSV file, the way it's formatted. It has a random number of spaces here. But in the next lines, it's, it's also different. It has different number of spaces. So I think we should just leave it alone for now. And then we can, we can clean up the white space later on and white space is just this this space here so let's not worry about that for now let's just focus on getting our data then we can make it look prettier later all right so now in order to get the next line all we need to do is call this again the f get s and then let's also print it again All right, so we were able to get the first line, then we were able to get the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth token, which are the fields, then we are able to get the second line. And then we can also get the tokens there as well. But we, want, we don't wanna do this for every single line in this file, so what we do is we just use a while loop. So after we read in the first line, and then we can we can print it let's have a while loop to get the remaining lines in the csv file so you can use f get s because when it's done reading the file it will just return false and it will it will exit the while loop And we can actually see if this actually works by printing. So in this while loop, we're just going to read every line until at the end of the file. Then we're going to print each line as they come in. So let's not worry about the parsing for now. We're just going to read in the first line. And then here, we're going to read in the rest of the lines. So let's try this. Okay, it just says null here because fgets was reading the end of the file. So we have no tokens to parse. 
But if you scroll up, you can see all of the, the lines that we took from the file. So I was able to open the file. This is the first line and then here we're, read we're reading in the rest of the lines. So within each of these lines, we can bring in our parsing code. So let's, let's, let's move our parsing code inside the while loop. And then let's run that. Oh, actually, I think these are null because at the end of the file, we have some empty lines. And you can actually see here, there's an invisible line. That's line 21. So I think if you remove line 21, and then we run this again, there, it's gone. So now we just have, we're actually parsing real data in each iteration of the while loop. Okay, so now we've already parsed our data. So this is where we do all our parsing in each of the lines. Now let's close our file. And closing our file is really simple. All you gotta do is F close. And we just close our file. And there you go. And that just frees up that memory for the computer to use later. Okay, so now we've we've parsed it. We can do whatever we want now with our data. Now that data is inside our program. Actually, what you want to do is you want to store you want to store this data into some sort of structure, and then you can parse the data however you want. So let's just do a summary of what happened. So we have a buffer for each of the lines. We have a char array. Or we have a char pointer for each of the tokens. We have a header, hello world, and then our biostats file in a file variable. You specify R to read it. We check if the file exists. And if, if it exists, we continue. Then we read in the first line because we don't really care about the first line. It's just the names of the columns or the names of the fields. And then we use a while loop to read in each of the lines. And in each of the lines, we parse the data using str talk toke and then we close the file and then the end of our header all right so i hope this was helpful for you if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section i'll be sure to answer them there and i'm curious to hear from you what kinds of csv files are you going to parse and what kinds of applications are you going to build now now that you know this skill and if you can't think of an application you can download my personalized finance app programming guide and there you can parse your credit card transactions file and then you can create your own budget app based on that file and you can download that in the link in the description all right thanks for watching this video i really appreciate you taking the time to listen to what i had to say if you have any other ideas on content that i can make i'd love to hear from you and i'll see you in the next one peace